Okay, well, in the spirit of going on, I'll introduce uh, Swathi. Uh, she's the Iowa State representative from the 36th district. She's also someone I think that most of you guys know. She served in the Iowa House since 2002. She's a BS from Nagpur University and a graduate degree from Bombay University. The interesting thing, I hadn't met Swathi uh, before today, but I do remember when she was elected and um, India Abroad, which is a very sort of popular newspaper to report all of their exploits, um, had an article on her. And I took it to my mother and I said, you know, mom, you know, she, she's elected. And she, my mom said, well, well, she's like you, right? She's not like me. And I didn't know what my mom meant by that. What she meant is, well, no, she must be born in this country, come here as a second generation immigrant and, you know, all this stuff. I said, no, mom, actually, she's like you. Whatever, whatever that means, she's like you. <laughs> and, and I think what that means is we hear, we hear this immigrant model all the time where, you know, a first generation comes here and puts down the roots and keeps their head down. And then it's up to the second generation to uh, do crazy things like run for office or, you know, major in art history, whatever, whatever it might be, right? Wait, wait, so wait. <laughs> that, that was actually to lead you to Hanson. Okay, all right. So who, is, who did an art major at Cornell? So <laughs> like this. Painting. Painting. Uh, but Swati's really turned that in her head. And so I guess for the second generation, if we could see the amount of dedication she's put into public service and what has become her adopted country over many years, certainly we can do more in the country that we were born in. And that's sort of the example that Swati set for me and, and others. So I'll hand it over to you. Thank you, and thank you again. To all of you, um, we are. The yeah. You should tell this to my two boys. <laughs> um, they look at me as an ethnic mom who is just different. So um, uh, when I I told uh, Kumar this, uh, when I came to uh, uh, United States on 10th of February 1973, um, uh, when I boarded the plane, it was 90 degrees in Mumbai. And it was 10 below zero when I landed in Seed Rapids. <laughs> and my friends who came and said hello to me, they looked at me and they thought, well, she can dress well, but she doesn't know how to buy her shoes. Because I, was, I had a great coat and fancy sandals that matched my coat, <laughs> minus 10 below zero. They thought I was crazy. But um, anyway, um, when Iowa did not have very many Indian Americans. Americans when I went to Cedar Rapids. There were five families. So I, ha I have come, you know, I came from a joint family. So I decided to make my own joint family in Iowa. And that's why I got involved in um, women and children's issues. And I never thought that I'll be in politics. My plan was, after I didn't go and left home, I was going to do PhD um, in chemistry or biology, and then be a professor in a small college in Iowa. So I'm going to stop right there, and I have to say one thing. When I was elected, my younger brother, Kumar Barve, <laughs> I have to tell you, he, he said, I'm like your younger brother, and then my boy said, who is smarter than his older sister? No, stop. <laughs> so th that's what the two boys said. So I said, yeah, that's OK. The younger brothers are supposed no. to be smarter than mm. older sister. But they never are. <laughs> <laughs>